Welcome to today's Simplicity Specialty Training. Today's training is on setting up payment plans. The screen that we're currently on is what we call the home screen. You can get here by clicking home, or this is the first page that you see when you first log into the system. What we're going to do today is search for our accounts. And for this um, particular account, we'll just say that we've got a, a payment plan to set up. So you can see that we've currently got a balance of $333.38. Okay. So when you're um <coughs> excuse me, when you're posting payments individually, they can be posted in the financial transactions page. When you're creating a payment plan, you go to the payment plan screen and start here. We do have the option to add one co collector to a payment plan. You can do the agreement amount based on the current balance. If it's on current balance, both of these fields can be edited. If you select, I'm sorry, cannot be edited. If you select settlement amount, then both of these fields can be edited, and you can also adjust the balance. So if you hover over adjust balance, it says if checked, all allocations other than interest will be zeroed out as of the date of the first payment and the principal will be equal to the settlement amount. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do our, our current payment plan based on the current balance. If you are set up with, uh, with a payment processor in Simplicity and that it's integrated with our system, you can click Hello? Recurring Payments. You can click Recurring Payments, and this will allow your payment plan to process automatically on the specified dates. So for this particular example, we're going to leave this unchecked just because we're working um, with dummy information. So based on our payment plan, we'll just say that we have um, $25 payments scheduled. Our first payment will be made today, and we'll repeat it every month. and you can choose the day of the month that you'd like that to repeat. You can also choose the day of the week. So every week on Monday, every week on Wednesday, however you want to do that. But we'll go ahead and do a month, every month on the 15th. So it says every month on day 15. You can either click Calculate Plan, or there's one more step that we can take, and that's initial payment is different amount. So if, um, for example, the debtor called and said, I'd like to do $25 payments, but I have uh, $100 that I'd like to put forward for my first payment. You can select this and enter $100, and that will show um, that the initial payment is $100 rather than $25. Okay, so we'll go ahead and click Calculate Plan. And if we scroll down, it'll tell us the number of payments. So we've got 11 payments. The last payment amount will be $8.38. The last payment date will be 12-15-2016. We'll click Create Agreement. And here we've got our payment plan. From here, you have two options. Um, if something uh, needs to be corrected and it's too large of a correction to do individually, with the edit icon, um, you can delete the agreement and start over, or you can also print the agreement to send to your debtor. Okay. So if we go to our financial transactions page, because we did not select recurring, pay recurring payments because we're not set up with a payment processor, we'll go ahead and enter our first payment. Okay, so we've entered a payment <clears throat> through our Financial Transactions tab. If we go back to our Payment Plan screen, this payment will show paid in full on today's date. Any payments accepted prior to 
the start date of the payment plan, which is 2-15-16, will not be included in the payment plan. So for example, if I were to change the state to the 13th, So I've entered a uh, previously dated payment. Um, if I go to my payment plan screen, the payment that was entered on the 13th will have no bearing at all on my payment plan. Only anything entered as of the start date of the payment plan will be applied. Does anyone have any questions about creating a payment plan? No questions? Um, no. Um, don't, I don't think so. Um, I, I kind of had a question, but I'm trying to recall how what you, something you said triggered a question. So okay. if somebody chooses to make a payment early and it doesn't take place on the 15th, mm -hmm. uh, as long as it's after February 15th when the plan starts, then it would apply. Is that right? That's correct. And does it just apply to whatever the next payment is? So what, um, what th that's exactly right. So what it will do, let's put in a post-dated payment. Um, actually let's say somebody wants to pay $10 next week. Where does that, how does that get applied? So if we did the 25th and we wanted to do, so this is a, a post-dated payment, so the payment hasn't actually come in yet. Um, you can set the so you can set a post dated payment through the financial transaction screen, and it will come in, and it will just apply to the next payment in the meet. payment plan. Um, or what you can do is wait. So so if I'm understanding your question correctly. Um, they, their next payment due date, for example, in this example, is the 15th, but they would like to send in $10 next week, correct? Right. So you can you can set that, that payment on the financials tab, and then once that payment comes in, it will just apply to the next payment in the plan. So let's say that they made another payment today of $35. Why are we skipping payment process thing? I don't know that I understand that. So payment processing on our test account, payment processing is when you're integrated with a payment processor. And um, oh, oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So, so because this is a test account and we're working with dummy information, we're not processing the payment because there's no real information. I, I understand that now. That makes sense. Okay. So I've uh, applied that $35 to our financial transaction screen, so you can see it distributed it between the next two payments, because the next payment that was due was only $25, and so it applied right. the remaining $10 to the payment after that. Okay, good. All right. Okay. Any other questions about payment plans? Can you print that when it says to print it for the customer? Can you, Are we able to see what that would look like? Sure. Yeah. So if I click print agreement, this is what the payment plan printout will look like. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? All right. If there are no other questions, we'll go ahead and conclude the training for today. Thanks so much for attending. Thank you.